Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-June 2020 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Libra, I hope you are well. I hope you are safe and healthy during these pretty heavy times, but I mean, you don't have to be an empath to feel the energy that's going on, what we're witnessing globally due to a change that has been long overdue and so needed for the world, for the collective, to raise the frequency of humanity. I know the transition is a bit heavy, but it's it's needed, this change. And for anyone that needs some love and light, I'm sending it all your way. If you're new to this channel, welcome guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that you gain the insight and clarity that you're seeking by watching this video in regards to your love life. If you're new to tarot or new to my tarot readings, I highly recommend to look up my guidelines on how to interpret these tarot readings. I posted these guidelines in my community post in my channel. I also have the link to get to these guidelines in the description box of this video. And even if you're not new to tarot, I suggest anyone to watch or, or li at least read these guidelines, excuse me, um, just so people can have a better understanding of how to interpret general, general collective readings as a viewer. And if you've been subscribing with me for a while, thank you guys so much for returning. Um, it's a pleasure to do these readings for you guys, and thank you for all your love and support. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in the Libra. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say, Libra and Cross Watchers, that it's important to remember that energy is fluid. Therefore, energies can be interchangeable and the roles can be reversed, and you are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should that resonate with your specific situation the most, but because this is a Libra reading, I will make Libra the main subject of the reading. Finally guys, I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand select each crystal that goes in every crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with, and I do hand make all the zodiac candles that I sell in my online shop, where I choose the colors and the scents I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to go ahead and check out the description box where you'll find the link to my online shop there. Alright Libra, let's get started. All right, so Libra, for this reading, I'm gonna ask for an energy to come through that is in your energetic field of an energy that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you, or has ever, really. But whatever energy wants to come through, I'm gonna ask how they feel about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what they think of you, what they like about the connection, and what they don't like about the connection and what their highest hopes are and their deepest fears in regards to this connection are. Keep in mind, Libra, you don't have to be in a relationship in order for this reading to resonate with you. Um, I'm just asking for a specific energy to come through that does have romantic intentions towards you. But, hmm, Libra, we got the High Priestess here. We also have the Ten of Cups. This is strong Pisces energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart or you're connected to a Pisces. We also have Cancerian energy, as I feel Cancer energy from the High Priestess as well. We got the Queen of Wands here. Aries energy could also be, Scorp um, I'm sorry, Leo or Sagittarius energy. You can have those signs in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs. But Libra, someone really feels as if you are their complete emotional fulfillment. They are very happy when they're with you when they go out with you, when they spend time with you, or even for some of you, it could be that you guys have online communication, you're at a long distance for some, but there is, there is a need for a change in this situation with this 
with the death card. The card is Scorpio. Some of you guys have Scorpio in your chart or you're connected to a Scorpio. But, you know, it was funny because also when I was getting into your guys' energy, um, I saw like a white elephant. And <laughs> I know there's that game with the white elephant, so I don't know if something's happened around December or Christmas time or maybe the end of December or early January that's happened between you and this person. Maybe that's when you guys met. Maybe there's a significant event that happened around that time for some of you, not all. But with that whole white elephant, I feel like it's that whole elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. And again, this is general. We'll get deeper into the cards to see exactly what that is. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart or you're connected to a Gemini. I feel as if this is what someone wants from this connection with you, Libra, whether it's you or the other person. I do feel like it's mirrored, but what wants to be said and done is a progression in this connection. I feel as if some things have been held back for too long, some things have not progressed in the way or in the speed that someone wants this to progress. And I almost have a feeling too that... <sighs> Someone feels a bit vulnerable should they speak their mind, should they speak their feelings because someone's afraid that either someone could dismiss how they feel or reject how they feel or even something that they could reveal may be a bit shocking in some way. I do feel as if someone does want a commitment here, does want a solid commitment and I do feel as if there's a masculine energy regardless of gender or sex a dominant masculine energy that the feminine is waiting to take, like step up and take control of. I feel as if there's a masculine energy here who really enjoys the connection between the two of you. It's very um, passionate, very loving, very, I don't know, I'm picking up on nurturing too with the Ten of Cups, but things have just not been official yet. And I don't know if this person is a bit defensive when it comes up about talking a full-on commitment or taking things to the next level. And I do feel as if there is someone here who's afraid of a reaction from other people. And I'm not sure if that's other friends, other family members. And again, it's not for everyone, right? But I feel like there could be an ex around someone, whether that's you, Libra, or the person you're connected with, who they may share children with this person, um, or maybe you share children with this person, that if they were to find out one of you was in a committed relationship, things could get really messy, and someone's trying to prevent that. And I do feel as if someone's trying to protect someone else from indulging in that energy that was a strong, karmic, heavy energy. I do kind of want to clarify this Knight of Swords so we can get a bit further here. Also, I'm seeing push-ups. Someone may be doing push-ups. And if this is confirmation for anyone, someone may have had floor sex with this person on the bedroom floor. Oh, I just heard kitchen floor for someone out there. But I'm seeing like a tiled floor. Yep, commitment. High priest is here. This is the Hierophant in the traditional tarot, Taurus energy. Yeah, someone wants commitment. Someone wants commitment now. Someone wants to make it official and not just like between the two of you, but to have everyone known. But again, I still feel this element of walking around eggshells due to outside reactions. Also, for some of you, I could feel that with this combination here, there's a fear of commitment, a fear of getting into a relationship again. Um, you know, someone could feel as if either a committed relationship is stifling of their independence, but for those who had a heavy karmic um, in their life, you know, they're just trying to take things slow because they have been hurt, because they have been... They felt like they were vulnerable too soon with someone who didn't respect their honesty, didn't respect their openness, so 
Libra, whoever this is around you, they're trying to slowly but surely get into the understanding of what it is to be in a connection. And just because there was a bad experience in their past, that doesn't have to bleed over into your current connection. Also, this person needs to stop, you know, feeding into what may other people think or what other people do. You know, it's for some of you, that's what's stifling the relationship. There's definitely some kinkiness going on here, too. I'm definitely seeing someone who when you meet them in person, you know, they're very, I would say a bit shy, a bit reserved, but when it comes to the sheets, there's like a beast that comes out, a uh, very sexual, aggressive or dominant type of energy that I feel turns you on, Libra. But let's go ahead and get into the reading. So how they feel about you is the high priestess. Pisces energy, Cancer energy. Again, you can have those signs in your chart. You could be involved with one of those signs. There's a lot of figuring out here. There's a lot of investigating, but a lot of understanding that some things are not going to be revealed at the time it is happening. Like I feel as if this person in some way needs to have a certain level of comfort before they can open up their emotions. And I feel as if that could be in regards to making extra sure that when they do reveal their feelings, it's not gonna be rejected. I, I do feel a bit of insecurity from this person or at the very least, if it's not insecurity, it's extreme fear around the unknown. What would happen if I reveal myself? What would happen if I told Libra how exactly I feel? And they can't take that unknown. So it's safer for them to keep things hidden than it is to reveal and get it rejected or reveal and not get the reaction that they want. That's really what I'm feeling here. But Libra with the High Priestess, there's a psychic, telepathic, energetic connection that both of you feel. Both of you may have experienced, you know, I almost feel like for some of you, again, not all, when you guys touch each other, there's like a sh like a shock of electricity or there's had someone's just given you goosebumps before or chills and not in like a scary way, right? In a very spiritual way, like a reaction to the strong chemistry between the two of you, but it can't be explained. And in some way with the high priestess energy, Someone's really relying or needing to rely on trusting that intuition on that spiritual hit that there is something very strong here, even if they can't put reason to it, even if they can't, you know, find all the evidence in the 3D world that you guys are A, going to, you know, last forever or B, that this is worth taking a chance. I, I just feel as if someone's just very afraid of putting themselves out there for it to be a failure. But it's frustrating you, Libra, because I'm hearing 10 months, so I don't know if you guys have been talking within the last 10 months, or this question has been put on the table within the last 10, 10 months. Um, and I'm also hearing October, which I'm not surprised, but maybe you guys also met in October as well. But a lot needs to be revealed and said because Libra, what they do think of you is the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy again. Whether you have that in your chart connected to one doesn't matter. What they're not revealing is that they are happy with you, that they do love you, that they do see a future when they daydream about you, when they fantasize about you, when they have visualizations of you two being together, they really do see you as being someone who can be the Ten of Cups in their life. I do see you as being very giving, very loving, very attentive to this person. And slowly and surely, as time goes on and you reveal your vulnerability, your own honesty, that's when they're going to decide, okay, it is safe. But with the Knight of Swords in the background energy, again, someone's just feeling like it's not going fast enough. I can't keep giving and can't keep on being patient with this when I'm not seeing any sort of even a hint of 
commitment in a way. But they are thinking about it, Libra. They are. You know, it, it is something that they can't walk away from. I feel like they've even tried to hide their feelings from you, but you've always known what's up, especially with the high priestess energy. They can't hide anything from you. I, I'm also feeling, Libra, like they haven't received that love from other people in their life that they have with you. The kind of care, devotion, loyalty that you give to this person. And I'm, you know, I, I just feel as if my Libras or whoever's watching this, even cross watcher, and if the roles are vice versa, then they're vice versa. But someone really needs to let someone know how much they do appreciate them, how much they do care and love them, because whatever side is not receiving that validation or confirmation, they're starting to slowly close up. What they like the most about you, Libra, interestingly, is the Four of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. Some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. doesn't have to be the case. Um, what I feel this way, Libra, about what they like about you the most is that you have been holding on to this. You have been give, being very patient with them. You have been giving them your, your patience. A little overdue, a little too much. But again, Libra, it's like the more you give this person your understanding, the more they're feeling comfortable with opening up. And I know that's a frustrating process for a lot of you, right? Because some of you, this has been going on for a long ass time. Like, what else do you need me to do? You know, throw you a parade, confess to the whole world that I love you. Uh, you know, it's almost as if Libra, you just don't know what more you can do, but hold on and wait but at the same time for whoever is afraid to open up it, it's not going to be like this for much longer you know and if this is what you like about the connection or what you like about libra the most be aware that it's it's only momentary it's only temporary I'm seeing something with a corset. I don't know if someone has a corset or like a, I don't know, like very sexy lingerie or sexy underwear, silk, lace, lace and leather. I don't know. And there may be like a lounge type of chair and someone's like living room where there may have been some hooking up on that, like a very long type of couch. I don't know what the word is for it, but. Um, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like one of those like resting, fainting chairs, you know what I mean? Someone has that in their living room. But I do kind of want to clarify this. Let's clarify the four of pentacles of what they like the most about Libra. Why is the four of pentacles here for my Libras? Ooh, a high priestess again with the lovers. Yeah, Libra, you're holding on to this because you know this isn't just something fleeting. You know that this is something so much more than what you see, what you can um, sense with your five senses, right? It, it's way deeper than that. The lovers is here, Gemini energy. Again, some of you could have Gemini in your chart. You're connected to a Gemini. You feel that this is someone who is meant to be in your life in a significant way. You feel and sense and know deep, deep down in your heart, in your soul, that this connection was meant to be something so much more. And that's why you're being patient and that's why you're holding on. Two major arcanas here. And also, Libra, I gotta say too, they're slowly starting to see why they have to reveal. Why holding back, although it's working for now, is not gonna work forever. And if they want to seize the opportunity of having this connection with you and being this relationship with you, having this lover's connection, for me this is um, soulmate energy at the very least, for some even twin flame, and I don't say that lightly, ever, 
then they're going to have to start opening up. And it's not going to be one-sided. Also, Libra, um, I'm picking up on someone that has like either perfume, oil, or lotion that has like a floral scent, whether that's like lavender, rose, I'm hearing peonies, um, lilies, lilac, I don't know, but a floral scent is kind of what I'm smelling. I'm even picking up that could be someone's laundry detergent, but again, that's not for everyone. Interestingly, what they don't like about you, Libra, is the Queen of Wands energy. Fire, feminine energy, Aries energy. Um, could also be Leo or Sagittarius energy. What I'm kind of feeling from this Libra, for some of you, I really do feel as if this person gets insecure, tries to run away in some way because almost as if they don't know how they got the deal with you. Like, in their eyes, you are sexy. You are magnetic. You are alluring. You turn them on in every possible way you can. And you do a good job at it. And I'm hearing someone knows their angles. I don't know what that's about, whether you take pictures knowing your angles or the way you move your body in front of this person, the way you position it. You know the best angles for yourself. You also know how with all your senses to get this person going. And for what they don't like about that though, it's kind of like, I, I, this is for a very small amount of people. For some of you, it's almost as if they're like intimidated by your sexual experience or your sexual mastery. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but it's almost as if sometimes they feel like they can't compete or they can't come in alignment when it comes to you sexually and they worry about that. Others of you, I gotta say, someone may find you intimidating or this person may find you intimidating in a way that, you know, you are so sure about, not only about yourself, you know, we all have our down days, but Libra, I'm really honestly feeling that it's taken you a lot to get to this point where you're happy with yourself, you love yourself, you love your body, regardless if there's cellulite, stretch marks, scars, whatever the case that we magnify when we view our bodies, this person thinks you're incredible. And it's like, how... How can I step up with that? How can I match that in a way? And others of you, I gotta be honest with the Queen of Wands of what they don't like about you. Some of them may find you to be a bit, have a temper in some way, or when you get annoyed with this person or get in a fight with this person, you're very passionate in the way you express your annoyances or discontentment and you know sometimes I feel like you could say something out of anger that you later regret but this person kind of holds on to it again a lot of different messages out there but I'm hearing the curve in your back someone likes the curve in your back or you like the curve in their back Libra maybe someone has like a a lower back tattoo or something like dimples on the lower back or like something along those lines or they like to grab or touch the lower back or you do. A lot of sensual energy. A lot of sensual energy. But with the Ten of Cups, it's past less. It's more than less. What they like about the connection Five of Cups. This is interesting. Scorpio energy. Again, some of you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. You could be connected to a Scorpio. This is what I'm feeling from this energy, and it's for some, not all. Some of you, I feel as if you don't hold on to grudges for very long. And when they do disappoint you, they try to do things to make up to it, like whether they don't respond to your text for a few days, or whether they have to reschedule a date with you or hanging out with you. And yeah, you get kind of annoyed, you get kind of frustrated, or even the simple fact that you're waiting for them to open up and they still haven't, um, they find other ways to make it up to you. 
where they'll either get you a little present, a gift, you know, send you something. I get like someone sent you something recently on your phone that was like kind of cute, made you smile in a way, whether that was a photo or like a meme or like a clip from Facebook or something like that. Um, but I really do feel as if, again, you're very, very patient with this person. Very patient with this person. And they do recognize that and they do see that, Libra. But they like the fact that you just don't hold on to it for very long. Because I think most of you understand at the very least that if this person didn't have feelings for you or didn't like you, they wouldn't hit you up, they wouldn't ask you out, and if this person has ghosted you for the last 10 months, I'm not talking to you. Um, I, let's clarify, because <laughs> that's a very interesting placement for that as well. Someone could have a pool in their backyard that you guys have gone swimming together in, maybe skinny dipping together in. Ooh. The King of Wands. Ooh, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo specifically could also be Aries or Sagittarius. And let me just point out, when I said soulmate connection at the very least, we now have the King and Queen of Wands up in here. Fire energy, magnetic energy, passionate energy, the passion between the two of you. And I feel it's like when you make love, it's not just sex. It's not just hungry, feisty, animalistic sex. It is passionate. I'm seeing like nibbling of the ear, the biting of the ear, whispering in the ear when you're doing it. I mean, you touch yourselves with like all the feelings that you crave from this person. It's very, very sexual. But with it clarifying the Five of Cups, yeah, they, they want to show you when they do disappoint you, they do want to try to make up for it in some way. And again, it may not be enough to where you're satisfied, but the fact that they're putting in any little bit of effort to show you means something. King of Wands energy is a go-getter, ambitious, um, determined, confident, charming. They, they feel very... Whether they don't even tell you I love you, you know, or whether they don't even tell you, I want to be with you, or I have feelings for you, their actions show it in some way to you. You know, the small things I'm hearing that they make up for. Again, it's not for everyone. And others of you, I do have to say that I, I they sometimes may feel like it's enough for them to just charm you and seduce you for everything to be okay and for that to be a band-aid over it. And if you're not okay with that Libra and if that's part of what this elephant in the room is all about, maybe that needs to be addressed because they think it's working so far. Okay, I just heard G-string too. <laughs> so that's all your all business. No judgment here, but that could be confirmation for someone. What they don't like about this connection, Seven of Wands. Again, more fire energy, Leo energy specifically, whether that's in your chart or not, or you're connected to a Leo. I feel, Libra, this is when that conversation comes up with, where do you see this going? Where do you want this to go? How do you feel about me? That's where the defensiveness comes in. That's where the automatic closure of the curtains come in and this person just wants to guard themselves because again, it's very scary for them about how they feel about you, but especially for those people that were in crappy relationships in the past, it, it, I don't know if it's like they're not ready to be in a committed relationship yet or if it's just still very scary for them to open themselves up again like they did with someone else in the past. So they may be very defensive about it. And again, this could be vice versa too. It could be Libra experiencing this, these um, trust issues, definite trust issues, definite vulnerability issues. They, they just want to keep things as it is for now, but I do feel as someone wants some more progression. So there's a conversation that needs to be had between the two of you, Libra. And with this Knight of Swords energy and the background energy, it's coming. It's inevitable. 
And I gotta say, like, if they don't give you the answer you are wait wanting for, been waiting for, and you clearly spell out to this person, like, I don't know how much longer I can still keep you in my life if things aren't going the way I want them to go. I feel as if their reaction to that is going to be enough for an answer for you, Libra. I don't know who needs to hear that. And someone's been like trying to avoid this conversation because they don't want to end things with this person. But at the same time, that's not how the world works. We can't just expect or want or walk around eggshells to please someone else when someone's not happy with the way things are going. So the conversation that needs to be said needs to be said. And I hope this person has enough courage and determination not to just show you in the small ways of how they appreciate you, but to finally reveal their truth with the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups of how they really feel about you, feel about me. I know you're sexually attracted to me. I know that you like me. But where do you see this in the next 10 years? I feel like some of my Libras really want commitment from this person long term and for them to just hear that validation. Highest hopes, the death card, the card of Scorpio again, heavy Scorpio energy in this reading for some of you who are dealing with the Scorpio have Scorpio in your chart. I'm also hearing Sagittarius Scorpio Cusper that some of you could be involved with or someone that has both of those signs in their chart. But this is how you both feel and I'll kind of explain in two different ways for the different sides of you guys. Libra, you just want this holding back, this doubt, this uncertainty to be done with, dealt with. So a new day, a new dawn can come in the connection where you two really can be happy knowing that there is no insecurity in this. There is no elephant in the room that still needs to be addressed. It's known how you feel. There's no question about it. And we know and want to plan for what is to come in the future for us. But with how they feel about this Libra with the death card, I do feel for a lot of them they do are hoping for at the very least to finally dead any of their own doubts or any of their own past experiences that they're still holding in this current relationship between the two of you. Because Libra, they know you're not the same person from their past. And this is for a specific side of you and I'll do the other ones for you in a minute. Bear with me. They know you're not the same person from their past. They know you're not going to hurt them. They know that you care for them. They know that you love them. So for some of them, they're hoping that they can finally dead that vulnerability fear that still lingers on. And for others of you, if that's not the case, um, they are hoping for this transformation within this connection or at least a, not fear the unknown. You know, a lot of people fear death because they don't know what happens after you die, right? Me, personally, I believe we just go into another existence. We never truly die. Energy never dies. But to finally stop fearing the unknown, fearing the possibility of this not working out, but to just try it and go for it and do it. There could be some risk in it, in their what they envisualize, but as Econ 101 states, Economy 101, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. So what are you going to do? Finally take the chance to go for it? Or stay in your little box of security and miss a wonderful opportunity just because you didn't want to risk your own vulnerability? I kind of feel the need to clarify this. Let's just get one card for this for some more in-depth. I just heard Lotus Tattoo too. I don't know if someone has a Lotus Tattoo. Yeah, the Magician. Mm -hmm. Make something out of this. To leave what didn't work in the past and to use the energy, you know, kind of like the Vulture. Even if something didn't work, even if something is dead, quite literally, 
to use what didn't work and to use the lessons from that and to manifest a whole new beginning, a whole new start that can serve much more in the relationship. And it's a masculine energy that needs to do that. Regardless of gender or sex, a dominant masculine energy that needs to step forth and make this change, or at least show Libra that they're willing to change and do what they can to get this to work. I'm hearing red jacket. Deepest fears, two of swords, Libra energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Libra or someone that has Libra in their chart. But yeah, this is the fear that Libra is done. What you had for me, my love, my care, my devotion, my honesty, my trust, you're blocked now because you could never prove to me that it was worth anything. Any sort of romantic gesture that you did before, any of the little things that you showed or tried to show that you cared about me, that's not going to work anymore because you're still not showing me what I want and need to see, despite what you think is enough. So someone feels their deepest fear is complete block, that they're never going to get that Libra energy of that beautiful Venus energy of unconditional love, of nurturing, of healing, of creating, expanding. But it'll just be dead, quite literally. For the likely outcome of this situation, Libra, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo to see what the likely outcome of this situation is or will be for you guys. I'm going to pull some more tarot cards to clarify the likely outcome, and I will pull some oracle cards to help add further information and give you any advice in regards to this connection. But before we go, Libra, I will pull a Romance Angels card. And I am gonna ask what this person's romantic intentions are with you and how they feel about you. So keep an open mind with past life relationship. Didn't I hit on that, Libra? Yeah, you guys, for some of you, definitely have a contract together, a soulmate contract, even a twin flame contract you guys have met in past lives. Or for others of you, it could be the case that this has been going on for a damn long time. Even on and off, this could be someone from your past for some of you. But this person is keeping an open mind. You know, other people where they try to open this person up, or even other people that have made it so that this person can't trust others, they're trying to put that aside, Libra. They're trying to put that doubt, that insecurity, that, I don't know why I just heard loneliness, but loneliness aside, so they can try to work things out with you. They're, you know, they're trying to understand that every experience with every new partner, or every new relationship, or every new connection is not going to be the same. The only person that can make it that way is themselves per for perceiving it that way. So they're trying to keep an open mind, they're trying to get out of their comfort zone, out of that box that makes them safe of not revealing themselves just in case something bad were to happen. They are in the process of opening up. It's just taking some time, but time's running out. All right, Libra, we're gonna go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, go ahead and open up the description box of this video where you'll find the link to Vimeo there and I'll take you to the reading. If this is where we depart, Libra, I really hope you gain some insight and clarity and guidance into your situation. If it did, please let me know. Please drop a comment, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys very, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra.